I have quite a lot of figurines and you know while this may not be as much as others out there who have an army of figures, it's quite a lot for a college student, especially when taking into account the price for some of the figures, which is why I'm going to use the figures as reference material as a means to justify how much I've spent on them and also making this video so that maybe you could also use it to justify just how much you've spent on figures. Now then, how might you use these beautiful works of art to make your own works of art? Well, the answer is quite simple and straightforward. The biggest thing is that figures are a great way towards understanding how to draw the human form in perspective and from different viewpoints. There are some smaller elements you can learn from studying figures, but I'll get into them later. Now then, how to use figures to study drawing figures in perspective? Yes, I know. Well, I'd say it's pretty obvious. Figurines have the advantage where, as a physical object, you can move it around and look at it from different positions. When you're drawing the figures, don't immediately think about the details, but start with more basic shapes and build up in complexity, similar to how you might go about doing figure studies normally. Something I like doing is drawing poses using the simplest shapes and shifting the view in my head and trying to draw the same pose from a different viewpoint. Of course, depending on the pose, this might be difficult, which is where figures might help. Rather than going off a mental image of a pose and trying to shift it around in your head, a figure is a physical object you can look at, making it easier to draw same poses with different viewpoints. And as you keep practicing drawing the same pose from different viewpoints, you will slowly become able to do it without the need of a figure, as you get a better understanding of the basic structure of the body. Also, as a side note, don't use photos unless you either don't have figures or the figure is too big for you to move around. The reason I'm using a photo right now is so that you can also see what I'm seeing when I'm doing the practices. The reason you don't want to use photos is quite simple. Photos end up flattening everything, so it will be harder for you to tell the form of an object. You can use photos later on when your skills improve and you get better understanding of the basic forms of an object. But unless you're there already, unlike me, try to use the physical object as much as possible. I mean, you did spend all the money on it, so why not bask in its beauty for as long as possible? Anyways, moving on. Besides learning how to draw poses from different perspectives and learning the general form of humanoids, you can also get a better understanding of the form of other elements such as the hair, clothes, trinkets, and any other items the character might have, and see how they look from different viewpoints. I especially like seeing how the clothes and hair look and fold around the figure. With hair, I have the issue where it's hard for me to understand the form of hair and how to properly draw them on characters without it feeling flat. Figures make it easy to understand the form of hair as they are made with larger clumps and you can physically see how they twist and turn from different viewpoints. As seen with the Machi Miku figure where the forms are clearly identifiable, making it easy to understand how the hair works. It also makes learning how to draw clothes and accessories much easier as you can see a simplified form of the clothes from different perspectives and how they wrap around the body. I'm just gonna grab the figure drawing I did previously to draw the clothes over since it makes it easier to see how the clothes go around the body. It's important when drawing the clothes to not draw them flatly just straight over top, but instead think of them three dimensionally, seeing how they go around the different parts of the body even if you can't actually see it. I recommend starting off with the general blocked out shape of the clothes before going into adding the little folds and other details such as patterns, the zipper, pockets, and whatnot. But what if I don't want to draw the specific character of the figurine, but I want to copy the pose? Well, you can do just that. To show you, I'm gonna choose one of the figures I like and also grab another reference of a different character I want to draw. I'm just going to copy the basic form of the pose before adding in details of the other character. You can probably tell, but my drawing isn't 100% accurate when compared to the original figure. But that's fine, cause I'm just going for the general pose, and you don't really have to be 100% accurate. You just need to go for, make sure everything is correct in terms of proportions and the general feel of the pose. You can also Look at the closes of the original figure to understand the perspective of how to draw the clothes on the new character and any other details.
After I finished drawing the pose, I started blocking in the basic shapes of the clothing and other smaller details to get an understanding of how the clothes go over the form of the body. After I get the rough draft of everything down, I decided to make a cleaner line art of it so it's clearer to see the finished product. And that's it! In general, I find figures very useful, especially when you want to draw the specific character as you can see as their design and all of how their clothes and other accessories look from different viewpoints. And that's basically my way of justifying the amount of money I've spent on figures and hopefully for you as well. Well, since I have a justification, you know, time to get more figures!